Hi, and welcome back to Knitting Nicely. Today I'm going to show you how I block cotton. Right now I'm just pinning the fabric to the size that I want. It's pretty much already the size I want, so it's not taking very much stretching, but you'll find that sometimes you do need to stretch it a little bit. But right now I'm just getting those edges nice and straight. If you noticed, I have a ruler on one side of it. It's a 12 inch ruler. This is one of the squares for my knitted patchwork quilt. Actually, it's square number seven, I believe. Or it might be square number eight. I think it might be square number eight. But this is um, this is my iron, and I'm just floating it right above in the spring, and I'm not touching it on the fabric at all. Okay. Um, this is how I like to uh, block cotton. Um, because then I don't have to wait for it to dry. I use a steam iron, so I just steam, and then I pat with my hand carefully. It's hot, but it's not too hot for me to touch with my hand, so just carefully, don't push it down, but carefully just pat it. And it evens out the stitches and keeps them nice, makes them nice. You'll notice that I am not pushing down on the fabric with my iron either. I'm just floating it right above the fabric and I'm not even touching it with my iron. And it's almost instantaneous when you can take the pins out because um, it's just steam. And as soon as that steam has cooled, it's all right to take the pins out. So here we go, I'm gonna take the pins out and it's already blocked. See how fast that was? I can sometimes use this for wool as well, um, especially if it's a lace fabric that I'm working on. I'll stretch the lace really well with my pins and then um, it's like magic when I put my steam on it. It just kind of opens the, the lace work right up and makes it beautiful. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this blocking video. Happy knitting!